Hello and welcome back, my name is Tim and you're watching The Basement Emporium. The basement that never floods and the basement that's always nice and sour. Today, for the patron Stefan Hill, we're going back to modern, modern Horizons 2. Anybody remember this? Been a little while, been a little while. Sit back, relax ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy a product that was amazing, that was good, and I, I believe it's getting towards the end of its life cycle. Sit back, enjoy what a good product feels like. Uh, what's the date? Is this 21 or 22? 2020, oh yeah. This is definitely getting to the end of its life cycle, and quite frankly, it's a phenomenal product. There's, there's no way to, to say on any form that this is not a good product. And, oh, I forgot about, the, they got the retro frames mixed in there. I totally forgot about that. So these packs are the non-Japanese. So we got the normal commons in the front, uncommons in the middle, and of course, ooh, Tempest Roar Mythic number one, pack one. And uh, we're going to be churning and burning some packs here, folks. It's been a while. My hands are a little rusty. Well, uh, we're going to get, get her back in shape here. We're going to enjoy our journey right back through what it feels like to crack some packs and look for some good stuff. We got a little assembly worker for a nice little pile of disappointment. In other words, you get a rare, you say, oh, that's cool, and two minutes later, you don't get two flying flips, and you forget about it. So today, have you seen the prices? Ooh, nice factory there. Ooh, Dermo Taxi. That is Rudy's school bus that, uh, to his middle school. So essentially, uh, again, bear market continues. Anger towards Hasbro and Wizards, all-time high. And Magic is in uh, quite a bit of volatility. But, you know, again, if this was in... Hey, nice little Bray's Apprentice. If this market was anything but 2022... There's no, it, like, it blows my mind to see even a product like this selling as low as what it is. Timeless Dragon, our first be beautiful foil uncommon. That's the first one. Wow, that's the first foil in the box. I'm so used to, like, foils being so diluted and you get 18,000 of them. None of them are special. And, you know, foils don't mean anything anymore. Back in the day, we get a foil card, Patriarch's bidding, and nice Rudy the Bee. Back in the day, folks, I'm telling you, you get a foil card... And, like, if we were opening a box of Urza's or Mercadian Mass or, you know, anything back then. Anything. Dude, you open Onslaught back in the day, just seeing, like, a foil on the edge, like, everybody would be like, oh, my God, there's a foil. Ooh, nice tutor. Uh, Rudy in high school. And, I mean, now, you know, foils lost its luster. There, there's so much variance, so much... It doesn't mean anything. Nobody cares. Honestly, now, you're just looking for good pulls. That's it. Ooh, Goblin Bombardment and the Sentinel. God, do you guys remember... When Moon Horizons 2 came out, this rare was, everybody was just going crazy about it. Got the old uh, Road to Ruin there, a little, uh, you know, I, I was never a fan of this particular, what they call the sketch version of cards in this. I never understood the purpose of it. Like, I didn't understand why, I mean, you already got retro frames in these things. Why is there a retro and a sketch? Another factory, and a nice prodigy for the rare. Like, I never understood the point of having all these extra variants. Like, nobody cares. No one goes, oh, goodness. Thank God I got the sketch version. Like, nobody gives two shit. Ooh, dragons. Is this still in a good... Un is there any value to any common or uncommon? Is this uncommon still a thing? Or is it all I just at zero now? Hey, Doc Hand. I wish I was strong enough to look that good. And a uh, nice foil uncommon. Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, Dr. Stefan, so far, um, this box is terrible. To be honest with you, Sterling Grove for a nice little... Hey! That's okay. So if I just bitch and complain... Peggy throws me a bone. And I say thank you very much. Mythic number two. All right. All right. All right. Endurance. We got Tempest Roar from a nice little, uh, mi little mid-tier Mythic. And uh, Endurance Mythic. One of the better ones there. That was a nice hit right there. I have no idea if the prices are still considered good or if they've all tanked. And Harvest Hand for the old Nymphomaniac there. All right. So we're going to the second middle row of the pack. Boy, I'm rusty. Man, I'm even a little slower cracking packs. I'm a little rusty. Wonder, hey, ooh, all right, all right. We got a little wonder from Judgment, old school there. And we got the old Living Artifact. All right, okay. Mythic number three. So we did end up with three Mythics in the first chunk of the box. So, I mean, that's in the first third. That's, you know, can't really complain about that. All right, off to the races. We got the old Curse. I love the artwork on that Curse. And nice little Dryad Weaver. It still feels good. Modern Horizons. You know, there's a lot of people who don't think Modern Horizons should have ever existed. It's a very interesting argument because a lot of people claim Modern Horizons, Voidwalker, is this still a good rare? Is this still a thing? Like Esper? Or is this over with now? Like some of the rares in this thing were like 10, 15 bucks a shot. 
But again, that was like a flipping year ago before the world just said everything's worthless. I have no idea if any of those regular rares are holding any. Hey, Dragon Chandler. And look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous Miss Titania Protector of the A name, Adam and Rudy. Very nice there. And another rare. We got a little, uh, little ferret man there. You know, like I said, nothing, nothing's going to. You know, it blows my mind when I see people so, Rudy, is this going to go up in price? Like, bro, it's, tw oh, hello. Wow. I completely forgot you could even get the borderless. I kept thinking you could only get these mythics in the collector box. But, hey, sort of hearth and home. Borderless there. See, that's the thing. If this was anything but 2022, folks, I'm telling you, these things would be priced so much higher. Hey, Grenadine Delilah. God, I haven't seen that card in ages, man. It's been so long since I've done a box opening. Man, what a fire product, man. Jeez. Ooh, Kavu, old for. Oh! <laughs> wow! Holy crap. That's fucking breathtaking, man. That's beautiful. Godly. Dude, Dr. Stefan, congratulations, man. Dude, this is a. Like I said, I was I was complaining about being a dumpster fire box. Dude, we are only halfway through the box. Ladies and gentlemen, retro foil rare of an actual fetch land. Dude, that's awesome, man. Awesome. Dude, congratulations. Completely awesome. Awesome box opening. Hey, the beautiful invoc there. Gorgeous artwork there. Just crossing halfway through box one. What an absolute pleasure to open today, you know? This is, this is, you know, that's why I said we don't need the 40 billion, hey, Chittery Spitter, reminds me of my ex, Chitter Spitter. You know, you don't, you just, you don't need the 18,000 variants, you don't need it all, man. It's just, less is more. Uh-oh. I was told, somebody comment below, we're gonna, it's seven minutes in, most people aren't even watching anymore. I was told that people all over the, the, what's it called, the, the back page, the, the Silk Road, no, um, Twitter. Uh, MySpace, Twitter, Tumblr. I was told every time Wizards has been uh, putting tweets and posts on the social media accounts, the Twitter and the Facebook, apparently everybody, they're getting spammed with the greed artwork and the greed name on all their accounts. Somebody tell me if that's true or if that's bamboozled. I've been hearing about that, but I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to check that. I don't do any of that. I'm an old fart, folks. I don't check that stuff. Anyway, somebody let me know if that's a real thing. Oh my god, Totem and a gorgeous Urza Saga and Rudy's Middle School Dinosaur. Look at that Urza Saga. Flipping amazing rare. Is that that was again just like Esper? That was a really expensive rare. A really expensive rare. Now, whether it's still an expensive rare, I have no flipping testicle Tuesdays, man. I have no idea. Persist. That love little simple art on that. Anyways, what a good box, man. Dude, that retro foil marsh, retro foil fetch land. On top of all those, golly, what a good box opening today. Rise and shine. And look at that. If you're going to get a foil uncommon, a flipping factory. How epic is that, dude? Anyways, a lot, I just want to comment, too. I know we're talking about how this feels good to go back and everything. But anyway, I just want to say a lot of people still are not fans of this particular product. Oh, God, that sketch does look terrible. Um, mostly because they feel it kind of... The, 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 the creation of having the master boxes, like double masters, VIP double masters, and then having the modern horizons is just too much. Like, have one or the other, but both is not necessary. Nice double rare pack. Nice little glimpse back there. Um, and I, I get it. I kind of see what people are saying. In other words, you shouldn't be reprinting cards so much where they don't mean anything anymore. That's essentially the point. <laughs> Speaking of greed. Oh my god, a monkey pirate! Holy shit! Dude. Talk about a way. I do my first box opening here in a, in a while. I'm trying to do some nice box openings. Everyone's like, is anybody noticing Rudy's only doing older box openings? It's a coinky dink. Anyways, Monkey Pirate. For Dude, look at this box one, man. This is wild. Holy crap. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? Like I said, if this was like 2019, 2021, like this product, dude. It's amazing to me that how cheap these things are. Searching the old premises there. Anyways, we're getting ready to jump over to box two. Like I said, this is going to be... We haven't cracked them in a while, so we're doing a nice double box opening. But man, what a good video. Harvest Hand again. I, like, I, we haven't even done box two. And it's just... It, it's already a feel-good, awesome experience, man. Just awesome, man. Void Mirror. That was a thing for a hot minute. I don't know if it still is or not. So last couple packs of box one. 
like I said, this thing should be at the end of its life cycle. I don't expect um, Modern Horizons to... Ooh, ooh, oh! <laughs> oh, God! Flipping Wake coming in hot and scolding the Tarn because Wake came in so hot. A scolding in a retro foil Marsh Flats, man. Like, it just blows my mind. Nobody gives a shit because everyone's just angry at Wizards. And some of these products, Magus of Rudy's face, it's amazing, man. Like, this to me, this, this is what a $250 to $300 booster box should feel like. Honestly. Like, this is to me what I feel like if Wizards has a premium price, a premium product. Oh, oh God. A double tap endurance, two endurances, one Rudy. Two endurances, one Rudy. That shit's crazy. Oh, God. I can't believe they reused that original artwork of Solitary Confinement, dude. I, that was a Judgment original card. I remember seeing that artwork when I was younger, and I was like, bro, I can't believe Wizards used that artwork. And even in today's standards, you know, where, like, Earthbind and, like, women and all that stuff is, like, illegal, and you're not allowed to act like women exist. I can't believe we're allowed to even look at that. Like, dude, that artwork is so epic, man. Dude, what a, like you look at that, it makes you uncomfortable. It it derives an emotional reaction, which is how you know it's good art. When you look at our oh, Rudy the one-eyed snake. God, what is that? Hold on. Four. Wait. Four six. Ten mythic box, double endurance, Rudy the Monkey Pirate, living weapon, coming in hot with the wake with Grenadine Delilah and a giant dinosaur coming into your bedroom with a double fetch. God, what a good box one. Like, and these boxes aren't even $200. Just, that's all. Just, I just, I just want to lay that out there. Box two. There's no, by the way, Stefan, there's no way you're going to get a better box two. Like, I, I know you're probably thinking, should we just cut the video off? No. You committed to failure and you committed to Pound Town? We're going for it. Box two. Like, I, there's no way, just for the record, 0% chance we get a better box on box two. That was a fire box, man. An absolute fire. I'm deleting the video in uh, pack one regent. Really? Okay. Pack one regent. Okay. That's I'm deleting the video and I'm retiring. This patron's money on this box opening single-handedly is retiring Rudy. Uh, I don't know where Rudy goes. He's in Florida. He's already, I was going to say you're supposed to retire to Florida, but if already in Florida, I'll leave Florida and come right back. How about that? Oh, man. Anyways, like I said, if this was any other time period, you would never... See, God, look how gorgeous that artwork is. She is beautiful. There, oh, squirrel mob. Hey, and some ooze. And a gorgeous, a gorgeous kaleidoscope. Can you imagine? Like, if this was Modern Horizons 1 in, like, the 2018, 19, 20 range, like, these boxes would already be $300 a piece, man. Soul Snare and Obsidian Chama. Chama! You know, and like I said, now that these boxes are officially, like, I think they're, I think Modern Horizons... Two has been out for a year, right? Braids and right. Terrible. I think we're... Are we past a year? So we're in the final segment of the life cycle of this product. And you can tell, too, because nobody cares about it. It's old news. It's been out for a while. Unmarked grave. Prices are just drooping in the bear market. Everyone's going, oh, Wizards is trash. Which, you know, we can't really argue otherwise. You know, Mark Bottom Water keeps stealing all the bath water. Inevitable betrayal. And step you through. You know, like I said, man. Ah... Uh, can you imagine if the Magic 30th have gone a different way? Can you imagine if some of these things have just gone differently? Can you imagine, believe, can you just imagine if, like, even Crimson and Midnight Hunt and Streets of Barry Manilow, any of this, I can't even open the pack. That's how rusty I am. Remember how fast I was at opening booster packs, everybody? I'm like a noob. I'm a noob Sabot. I'm new. I'm slow now. I just, can you imagine? I just, oh, man, can you imagine if things have just gone differently? Holy crap, what is this pack? Holy smoke. Living weapon coming in hot. Retro. Godly. Like, I love these retro foil things. They look really neat. But I'm still... I feel like they're just doing these retro foil throwback and everything. And it's concerning me that it's going to lose its luster. Vindicate. Hey! Metazoo Cryptologist. You know, that's my concern right now. I'm concerned that literally every time they take a good thing, like this retro frame stuff, they just start doing it in every product. That's why everyone's scared. Chef's Kiss. Very nice. Everybody just, that's why everyone's freaking out about, like, the serialized cards in Brothers War. The prices are through the roof. Everybody loves it. Brothers War collectors are doing really well. But everybody's like, well, oh, hello, Arid Mesa. Fetch land number one for box two. 
But everyone's like, well, Rudy, I'm not getting involved. Oh, I thought I was like, wait a minute. Why is this pack so loose? There's like no cards in the top half. A lot of people are just like, I'm not getting involved with serialized cards because Wizards is going to put serialized cards in everything and nobody's going to want serialized cards. And that's it has nothing to do with whether or not you like it. It's because everybody believes they're going to completely ruin it. Period. That, that's kind of what the problem is right now. And obviously it's too soon to know. I mean, all we know so far is uh, Dominari Remastered does not have serialized cards. Uh, Phyrexia, all will be 69, does not have... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Double Mythic Cabal and a Triple Tap Endurance. Stefan got three endurances in this video. Wow. Flippin' wow, man. Like, just wow. Like, holy smokes, these are such good boxes, man. Oh my god. And a flippin' scolding in the very next pack. A scolding tar right after another endurance and a cabal coffer. So now, Stefan, you got two scolding tarns in this video and three endurance mythics. Zeron Orb, beautiful Ice Age reprint. Just crazy, man. But there you go. I, I just, you know, the market conditions and everything, everybody, everything's just so distorted and blurry right now. It's just a really funky time, man. Fractured sanity. You know, it's going to take some serious time for things to restabilize, recalibrate, and all the things that have happened, you know, through this whole 2021 boom and bust. It's been a wild thing. Elder Dragon there. We are in the second, we're at the end of the video now. The second half of box two. I don't know if we're really looking for anything else. We've already hit a, pretty much everything, am I right? We got Larry Nevin's disc. We got another Weaver right there. We got a Tormine. All right. I was like, this point in time, I guess more Festlands? I guess more Mythics. We only got four Mythics in box two. I mean, we've already kind of hit everything, right? I mean, what are we missing? Search? Um, I was like, didn't we already get all the good Mythics though? Are we missing anything? What are, it's been a while since I've opened this. I can't even remember what was deemed. I mean, we even had the Monkey Pirate. Void Mirror. It's like, we've had Monkey Pirates. We got all the Solitudes. We got the Endurance. Wait, did we get Solitude? The Cabal Coffers. We got all the Rares. We got Fetch Lands. We have a Foil Retro Fetch. We've hit all that stuff. And, oh my god! Oh my god! Retro Karth. Dude, gorgeous card. Godly in the Rare. And a flippin' retro Misty. Misty coming in, just always surprising you with the Misty. Oh my goodness. It's the same, man. Some of this stuff is... Oh, Riptide, hello! Rip... Oh my god, look at this pack. Look at these packs, man! Onslaught Riptide with Rudy the One-Eyed Snake coming in hot again. Godly. Alright, we're getting to the end of the video. I'll give you guys a couple little Rudy rambles and final philosophical Rudy thoughts at the end here. Um, coming into the Magnus of the uh, the Magus of the Bridge. All right, what do we got here? We're coming in with some little Tide Sky Altar, eh, Split Card, Fire Ice, and Dress Down. Now that's a little disappointment on a Monday morning. Uh, what do we got next here? We got, we got, we're still we still got time to pull some spice. We got a little bit of time here. And all right, Kavu Restoration Foil Uncommon. All right, God, it just amazes me, man. Like, this, this product feels vintage already. It doesn't even feel like today's products. Bombardment and another Esper Sentinel. Two in the video. One Esper in each box. Like, opening this, like, it feels like it's already an old out-of-print product. Like, that's how much time and how much things have changed and gone by. Oh! That's what we haven't gotten. I can't think that was a mythic. Yavi Mavi Rudy. Cradle of Rudy. I, that's, I was like, I knew there was a bunch of... That's crazy. That you have good mythics. You have fetch lands. You have a good land cycles. Good rares in the product. Oh, look at this. Shardless, of course, has Cascade, so you know it's good. And Harmonic, double rare pack, and a foil uh, common. God, Leo. Just... <laughs> it's just dumb, man. Oh, my God! <laughs> a double Rudy Monkey Pirate! Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> God, Leo. What a stupid video, man. Oh, my God. See, this, this is how Rudy, everybody's Rudy. How does Rudy make all his money? I film, I, I literally cracked all boxes all day long. I've been cracking boxes for 15 hours in a row. You guys can't see. I have 48,000 boxes off camera. Hey, Negroif. And you guys, I delete all the ones where I, I 10x my money like this video. I delete them all. And then I travel around my giant private yacht and I have helicopters and jets. Wait, that's Jeff Bezos. I wish I was Jeff Bezos. 
Oh my god. Oh. Dude, Modern Horizons 2. What a broken product, man. Doc Hand. What a broken product, dude. Like, this is what a premium product should feel like, man. This is what it should, it should, this is how a premium product, like, this is the pro, a karmic guide, and another harvest hand, that's our third one in the video. Like, this is what it's supposed to be. Like, if we, if we all forgot, like, this doesn't even, like, this doesn't feel like a normal video, because it's been so long since I've done a box opening, and usually, oh, God, even look at this, look at the Nicroy, but look at that beautiful foil land. Like, it's been so long since I've done a video, and even then, it's been so long, like, we need to go back, we need to do a couple Boulder's Gate collector box openings. We need to review, we need to revisit it. It's been like six months. I want to do some, I got to send up some page. We got to catch up on the box openings. What is this? Oh my God. Anybody even remember this? I don't think anybody remembers this card. Hunger Tide? <sighs> well, congrats. Thank you, Stefan, for being a very kind patron. Everything in the video is headed your way. Um, as always, everybody, I appreciate the honor and the privilege to entertain and have conversations and, uh, you know, real talk, whether it's positive or negative about everything going on. And uh, it's been a very tough year, a lot of volatility, a lot of attacks, a lot of hatred, all directions. People hate me, hate LGSs, hate distribution, hate Hasbro. Well, we, you know, you know, I haven't really, I've been leaning into it, so I haven't really been uh, doing the most responsible way of navigating it. Just the, it, it's a tough year, you know. You can you can feel everybody's uh, emotion, and everything, but you know, I look I look at this box opening that we've done for the patron Dr. Steph on there, and I look at these pools. And yeah, I know, we got some retro frame everything. I look at this stuff, okay? And I look at the, just the rares. Look at the rares in this thing, okay? Yavi Mawis, Espers, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, even some of the non, non expensive unique cards, Solitary Confinement, you know, Garth, different things that were reprinted. Well, Garth is new. Uh, Solitary is reprint. And then you look at the retro things, you know? You got fetch lands and retro enemy fetch lands. Look at the Mythic Cycle. The Endurance, the Living Weapons, the Cabal Coffers, the Broken Monkey Pirates. And then, of course, Grenadine Delilah's and Old Hunger Tides. And, you know, you got a little dragon action over here with Reginite. But look, look at look at the, the variety. Look at the quantity of categories that you can get hits and enjoyment out of this product. And I, and I ask everybody, what the fuck happened? This product is only a year ago. And it already doesn't... This already feels like vintage or weird to me. Like... Like, what happened? Like, it already feels strange to me. And this is only, like, a, it's a year or a year and a half old. This was 2021 or mid-2021 or a year and a half, whatever. And I'm just like, and it's still cheap. Nobody cares, blah, blah, blah. And all this stuff just blows my mind, man. And, and, I, and I encourage everyone. I know we've been on the Rudy's led the way. I've led the uh, crusade. Am I allowed to use that word? Or did I just, am I, am I banned? Rudy already banned? If I'm not banned by now... How I just went on a tirade of bashing Hasbro for like a month. Am I banned? Did, did anything even like does like does anybody even give two craps to that company anymore? Nobody even cares. Anyway, it's just stupid. You know, part of me, you know, I know this is a little ass backwards, but you know, there's a part of me hoping that they were that Hasbro would come out and do something against me, or ban me, or threaten me, or tell me to stop, or cease and desist. Part of me was really hoping that. I don't know why. I think it's because I'd love to just be the front center guy that goes to battle and pushes and doesn't give up because I have the resources. And, you know, it's kind of funny because some people said, well, Rudy, because you have the resources is why they're not going to do anything because you're not a normal person. You actually have the financial strength where you could fight. Even if it's losing, losing battle, the publicity alone would generate so much kind of PR, it wouldn't be positive. And that, that's probably some truth to that. But anyway, who cares? Uh, but... You know, I just want to remind everybody, if you're listening to this and you're 25 minutes in this video and you're still interested, it's because you love magic, right? And the reason I'm doing a box opening for my patron and everything is because Rudy needs money and I'm greedy. Ugh. No, it's because I love magic too and I still enjoy doing this. And this video was a great throwback. I know we got memes and jokes and stepsisters, washer dryers and all this stuff and Rudy's a scam and everything's a joke, you know. But in reality, is you know, this video was a great moment. And this box opening was an absolute great... I mean, look, look at the mythics in the pools. Like, I'm just going to... Like, it was just... What a moment for an awesome box opening for the patron, you know? Like, the guy didn't even lose money. Like, the patron even turned a nice profit, okay? And that's awesome. That's fucking awesome, man. The fact that we can all enjoy a great experience, 
you know, we all get to enjoy it together. The patron makes money, you know, and we all get to just have a good time. This is, you know, this is what YouTube in box opening is supposed to be. And, you know, everything that's happened, it's all these things. And I think a lot of it's lost sight of that, you know, all the, everybody tries to do box openings and all these things and whatnot is becoming a big thing and selling each individual pack to 36 different people, all this crazy shit, man. And see, I, you know, well, Rudy's not streaming his videos live, so he's definitely opening a thousand boxes and then picking the best. Yes, folks, I have so much time of not running anything else. That's what I do all day long. <laughs> Anyways. But I just, I think this was an important video. I really do, because it really shows how amazing magic is. Like, when I look at this foil, Retro Marsh Flats, if you're anything with magic for a long period of time, there is no way you can, you can look at this card and not get an emotional response. This reminds me of OG Zendikar. You know, this reminds me of OG Framework with, like, you know, Onslaught, even though these are, you know... But you get the idea, even though it's allied enemy all that. But I mean, you get the idea. It just reminds me of that kind of thing. You know, it reminds me. Like when I see these, these retro misties and stuff, the Zendikars, the old frameworks and onslaughts and the foils, it reminds me of that stuff, you know? And it just shows the history is so rich and these things are so important. But it says, what the hell happened, man? How do you celebrate something as a 30 year anniversary and just. How do you screw up that bad? And it's not even about the $9.99 thing. I've told you guys that a million times. I'm going to say it over and over because people take everything out of context and, you know, attack me, attack every store, whatever. But again, I really don't have an issue with the $9.99 price point. I have an issue with the execution, the spirit of the reserve list, what they stated for many years that turned out to not be true, and how they did it. And how then they handed them out to these rich, you know, like, I don't want free Magic 30th boxes. I don't deserve them. I don't think random celebrities or football players should be handed them out and saying, hey, I love you, Wizards. Thanks for the free couple grand. Like, that's not what built magic, man. Like, young people like me who were broke and felt like losers in high school and middle school and lonely, you know, outsiders, they're the ones who we built the nostalgia and the original thing. You know, and I know millions of people can relate to that. And it's just like, how did it get to this? Why do we have secret layers of a guy named Posty and Post Malone? You know, I have nothing against him. I don't know anything about him. I don't really care. But why are we making secret layers of that? Why are we doing $1,000 four-pack things? You know, why, why are all these things just... It's just so bizarre. And then when you see the company, and their responses are just so bad. So bad. Like... There were so many things you could do to steer the ship right or do anything positive. And they choose the only thing that's worse. And it's so bad. Oh, man. It's just, I guess, what a way to end a bear market year. I guess it's fitting, you know. I guess it's fitting, you know. Because once Streets of Barry Manilow and then Boulder's Gate came out and everything just started just straight downhill and the economy took a shit... Inflation took just went nuts. Fed skyrocketing rates. Economy gets even worse. Stock market, equity markets, crypto markets, now real estate markets, collectible card market. I mean, everything. There's nowhere to hide. We could do leave your money in cash and lose 10, 20% to inflation, but at least the principal didn't go down, even though your purchasing power went down. I mean, no matter what, there's nowhere to hide. You could have bought a thousand Rudy cards, you would have lost 30, 40, 50%. You could have bought a thousand boxes of magic, you probably lost 30, 40, 50%. You could have bought a bunch of reserveless cards a year ago. You would be down 30, 40, 50%. There, there's nowhere to hide. I mean, I guess you buy crypto, you'd be down 60, 70, 80, 90%. Or stocks are down 20, 30%. I mean, there's nowhere to hide. You can argue the slight differences on which is a little better or worse, but it is what it is, man. Uh, but anyways, I guess all this stuff is fitting. And I hope you all enjoyed the journey with me for 2022. And I know we're getting ready to wrap up the year and all, but I hope you all stick with me for 2023. Uh, I mean, it's got to be better, right? I said it has to be better, right? I said 2023 is going to be better. Anybody? Why aren't you guys agreeing with me? All I hear is the tumbleweed guy. I said 2023 has got to be better. Oh, God, please be better. 